Hello guys, for those who don't know me, I play Speed Duels. I am known as Josh as 123 or Lucas. And I want to share my Kairushin Gravekeeper stall deck. So I just want to clarify that English is not my first language. Also, making videos is not my thing. This is my first profile video, so I apologize for the quality. Now, to get started, we have Tavern from the Deep skill. So what this does is that if you have a Kairushin on the field, you flip it and then it will be unaffected by trap cards. And if Kairushin is removed from your field, you get to draw two cards, which gives you the card advantage. Now, I'm running two because you really don't want to draw them until mid game or late game. Uh, they're a break card. So two is enough, not three. Also, I'm not running Umi because of the same reason. I'm just afraid of breaking. So next off, we have the Gravekeepers package. Now the reason I'm playing Gravekeepers is because they facilitate your your tribute summoning for Oracle or Kairushins. Now I'm running Ambush because of its higher stat which means it can survive a turn against unboosted command knight. And so, yeah, the Gravekeeper recruiters, they give you the card advantage that you want. And Oracle is just a really good effect that helps you um, clear your, your opponent's board. So, Maneater Bugs. The reason I'm playing Maneater Bugs is because you want to stall your opponent you want to be able to take out his stronger monsters because your boss monsters are just 18 and 20. And it's the only reliable counter against perfectly ultimate great muff. Next up, we have three Yomis. So they're here for the same reason as Man Eater Bug. They also have a higher defense stat, so it's uh, a little better for stalling. Next off, we have Mass of Darkness. These are proxies, so I apologize. So they recover a trap card, but mainly you want to use them because you want to recover your Jar of Avarice. If you can loop Jar of Avarice with a Mass of Darkness, then you have an infinite deck if you can survive that long. So I'm running two to make sure that the uh, that the the combo is not broken and now for the traps i'm playing two right of spirits i'm playing only two because that's also a card you don't want to see a really early game but it's just a really good card it helps you tribute it brings back your monsters so it's just the standard gravekeeper card next off we have three floodgates now floodgate can stall your opponent but it also can take out a monster by by itself so even though it's uh, still face down remember that you you have an infinite deck that you can loop so you're not really afraid of his face on monsters all right next off you ha i have two mishisuris now this one is from pharaoh servant so i apologize now, the reason I'm playing these is because they're, they're just good removal, good stall, um, helps clear your opponent's board. Um, I'm only playing two because they need a monster in order to work, so you don't want to see it uh, in your first hand, so I'm just running two. Next off, two Dust Tornadoes. You want to be able to destroy your opponent's back row. But also, this is the, the card that prevents your opponent's Parasite from taking away a monster like Kairushin. So this is the, the counter, but it's also the standard trap removal that you want in a deck. Next off, the one-offs. One Windstorm, really good defensive card, but also a really good offensive card. If your opponent's monster have zero attack, Thanks to Oracle, you put them in attack mode, you attack, and since Kairushin is unaffected by trap cards, so you might 
have a win condition depending on your opponent's life points. Um, Jar of Avarice, this is the card that will help you uh, loop your deck. So it's just a necessary card for stalling and bringing back your resources. With Jar, you loop into Mask, and with Mask, you loop into Jar. So now for the side deck, I'm playing one Ladybug. Um, because if your stall game is good enough, then you you can afford this to to make it harder for your opponent. I'm playing one Blast Held because I am afraid of uh, Grave Keepers, especially the Oracle. Um, so this is the this is a counter for for the Grave Keepers. And next off, one Waking the Dragon. Now I'm playing Waking the Dragon because the meta right now there's either a stall deck or a hyper aggressive deck that runs night beams and dust tornadoes. So since you are afraid of night beams and dust tornadoes because you are stalling, this is the card that will give you a win condition if your opponent gets to pop it. Next up, two water eliminations. Right now, the most aggressive deck is is um, Grave Keepers. No, it's a uh, Gear Freed with Command Knight and Parasite. So this card, these two cards, will be a good counter for them in order to clear their field and uh, survive longer if you need to. And lastly, one Wicked Breaking Flambers. Now this card. Uh, you send one card from your hand to the graveyard, uh, equip it to your opponent, to to your monster. It will gain 500 attack, and any monster that it runs over will have its uh, effect negated. So if you have Kyrushin and this card, it's unaffected by trap cards, and it will negate all your opponent's uh, monster effects. So this card is really good against stall decks all right so finally for the extra deck um blue eyes ultimate dragon uh real senshi uh these these are the two most important cards if i had arcana i would obviously run it but i don't i don't have one uh real senshi you pay 1000 life points you negate any normal trap card also if your opponent targets with a uh, parasite this will become like a gear freed and it will pop the parasite so your opponent cannot use a uh, parasite to to use the skill to take away your real senshi um blue eyes ultimate it just has a really high stat if you hit your opponent in the most uh precise time then this card can win you the game so what you want to do with this deck is that you want to hide behind all your back row before you summon your first boss monster. All right, so you have a Kairushin, you will summon it when you have already a Yomi, Man Eater. So, this way, when you lose the card, you will have the, the skill. You draw two extra cards and you can still survive. So the reason why you want to play so um, passively is because if the only card you have is one Kyrushin, maybe one Floodgate, if your opponent uses Parasite, you lose the game. All right, so thank you guys. I hope you like my deck profile. I apologize for the quality. Uh, making videos is definitely not my thing, but I like to share my my decks. So if there's another deck that you want to see um, before the format ends, um, obviously um, to make it viable against the current meta, then just let me know. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.